comes out here with his I believe he he primarily plays Shulk though does know is known to have a Falcon as well as a uh, a Pyra and Mithra. If he brings his A game, then suddenly they can be right back into this game. But it's going to be a turning point. Should we see how it goes? As stage bands are coming through. Mm -hmm. Actually, it might be um, their their methods might be opposite. We don't know yet. Uh, Mississippi State sending out some of their strongest players first um, to get as many points as they can. Whereas maybe Kunipiak. Um, sending up some of their strongest players, players last, and you know it's a little gamble when it comes to it. Um, how are their weaker players going to go against the, sh the other team's stronger players, and will that be enough to just take, um, get all the points gathered? And there's definitely a ton of theory that you can put into it. Uh, and all of it reasonable. I mean, Mississippi State is up to 11 point lead for a reason. As uh, okay, just a pure Xenoblade ditto. As the pirate and Mithra from Mia face Sh uh, Shulk, the original versus the sequel on Town and City. A lot riding on this game, so we'll have to see how it goes. Because all everything will come down to just how they play. Mm -hmm. So, um, of course, a bunch of Shulks start off the match always with uh, speed. Um, Mithra being kind of like... Um, Speed personified into a character. Uh, their character, um, both of them just winging their swords to and fro. Yeah, it's kind of a, it's a interesting way to to see it. But you kind of have Mithra, the ca a character with all of the attributes. I mean, disjoints, speed, jump height, uh, air acceleration, all of that good stuff. Uh, against Shulk, the character that can modulate his attributes at will. And what makes him incredibly broken because of it, as that edge guard comes through. Re okay, reverse air slash. No, he doesn't even need to do it. Um, while Mithra does have a better recovery thanks to having a sideways option, uh, in addition to a better air speed, Pyra's up B is usually better for raw recovery. The prominence revolt traveling a massive vertical height. Uh, a little too late on that front, though, as Bako is looking to hold on to this lead as long as he can. So, Pyra down here is certainly a move. <laughs> mm hmm And, you know, um, Pyra hits like a truck. And as I just say that, down air, um, we've seen um, Mia use Pyra's, I believe, fair. I mean, not fair. F-tilt. And then finally taking the stop with down air. And now Mithra can start the oppression. If there's any one weakness with Shulk, it is the fact that some of his frame data, well great on landing not great on startup it's kind of a little bit slow and mithra can get right in your face and start oppressing you with all of her incredible tilts uh tilts and aerials that all seem to work together in some shape or form depending on how creative you are with your advantage and suddenly this game got a whole lot more even until bako is trying to shield grab pirate f tilt i guess an excellent switch to um shield honestly um of course they main this character i just always find it so impressive when shulks are able to switch so fast because i know it takes a little bit of skill to try but you know gotta go deep if you can recover then might as well go a little deeper especially since pyra and mitha are notoriously known for being unable to recover super well and he decides to go low yet again uh Looks, Baka looks like he's uh, trying. He's trying to look for all of these prominent kill options, but dash back F smash is not going to do it. However, run back, uh, run off forward air, absolutely one of Shulk's best options because, uh, in terms of edge guarding, because it's just so big. All right, the B reverse flame nova, though the neutral V for both, uh, both Pyra and Mithra, very very safe. Uh, not not much end lag to that at all. It's going to be a close one as we get to the end here. Both players look very evenly matched as both characters uh, are as well. Mm -hmm. can't, can't land with neutral air all the time, though. Absolutely. And, you know, some um, Mithras tend to do that. They have so many moves that can work, whether it be down tilt 
or um, Nair or F-Tilt, um, that it does get predictable. I really like the swap from uh, from Mia. It was it was rather quick and not usually at the spot you normally see a shield saves uh, Bako's life. Uh, whenever you get caught by py uh, pirate down air, you kind of have to fear for your stock, especially in a spot like this. Yeah, it's near nearly getting the two frame. I'm surprised we haven't seen. I'm Ooh. surprised I didn't kill. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, really great job on um, Bako's part. Um, it could still go either or, both of them really attacking on each other's shields with their nares. Um, Bako obviously um, trying to go off stage where um, Pyro can't really do well and then a really good M spaz. Just a smack it right there. Yeah, he'd been going for that dash back F smash up quite a number of times. And it looked like he's trying to compensate for a lot of diff distance, uh, but it was never enough, or at the very least, he would call out the wrong option because Mithra would usually be too fast. However, in this case, it's Pyra, and Pyra dash, Pyra's dash and dash attack are significantly slower. So the Monado managed to get there first over the Aeg or Aegis, and that's game one and the first point singular on the board for Quinnipiac. Mm hmm. Um, yeah, honestly, really gate, great on uh, Queen PX part, getting a stock, getting any be very good. Um, Mississippi State still up by 10 points, which if they, I'm trying to calculate this in my head. Ooh, math. <laughs> Not really good for my brain, but you know what? <laughs> I can do the math later. Um, seems... They are starting, they are running it back, going back to P, not PS2, wow, Town and City. Yeah, it looks like it benefited both uh, both players. I would actually like to see um, Baco run off and instead of just going for forward air, uh, position himself for the reverse air slash as both Mithra and Pyre's recovery are, is pretty edge guardable and rather susceptible to such a sweeping large move like that. Though if he keeps playing his center stage game, then hey, it worked out last time. Make Mia be the one to adapt to him, or else he'll just have to lose. Mm -hmm. um, it's sometimes always really funny seeing fast characters going against one another because they just kind of swing and they don't hit. And honestly, so happy that their color of their sword swinging is different because had it not been different, I would have been kind of confused as to who's hitting what. But both of them are um, yeah. just hitting hard and like, yeah, okay, really good recovery on Mia. Yeah, I, I see exactly what you mean. Like, they're kind of, especially when Shulk puts on speed art, like, it gets, it gets a little crazy given how many inputs are coming out all at once. But Mia looking for the kill right now, but the prominence revolt as... Uh, killing out a shield option, it's pretty solid, but given sh how safe Shulk's frame data is, that is certainly something you have to keep aware of, and uh, giving Bako that free stock and that free lead of which Buster Art puts on so much damage, and it just keeps coming with unsafe dash attacks like that. Okay, I thought he got him. I thought he got him again. That would have been a quick second stock for uh, Bako, but... He finds himself at the mercy of uh, Mithra and Pyra and their overwhelming presence. Mm -hmm. And you saw how we saw how Baku was tossed to the left and then to the right before finally um, losing his stock upwards. Um, Smash coming in, obviously something very scary trying to stay away from um, Baku switching to uh, shield, which. Um, Saved him a little bit. Um, he didn't get pushed back as much as um, it normally would have been. Ooh, and up air comes out for Baco. It he got a really good uh, early percent string with that up air earlier, but using it to clean up the stock is not usually a move you see. But hey, w when it works, it works. Especially these S matches, which is all starting to uh, find their mark. 
despite missing many of them in game one, it's a different story in this game too, and the first and the uh, the percentage and stocks reflect that change. But picking his spots a little bit better and using his arts both prematurely and on reaction. Uh, looks like Baco is looking to ride this one home with not uh, to make it greater than just four points for uh, Quinnipiac and see if he can get a fifth or a sixth out of out of this win should he manage to hold on. Mm -hmm. And you know, Baco is still living at 120. Um, of course, Mithra being super unavailable to kill. I feel like that would have killed. That definitely oh. would have killed had it not yeah. been shield. Choke, choke, man. I, I have been known to have high opinions of this character. I think they're incredible, but they absolutely do have those flaws. And if you catch a errant Shulk in Smash Art, anything will kill. Just like that will. <laughs> what a call out. Really good play on Bako. They really was able to adapt against the Pyram, the Pythra, um, wow, the Pyram Mitha matchup. Um, giving Quinnipiac four points and not letting Mississippi State tick the scoreboard. Just realizing the missed tech, realizing that, you know what, most people roll behind here and just it, it, most of the time, it's hard to be aware of which direction your opponent is facing and when you're not in neutral. And there's certainly a lot of moves that cover that, but Catching with the backslash and shield art or smash art is absolutely going to uh, confirm that kill as Baco holds on with only only one stock, but still one more point and two more for the W makes this game a whole lot more uh, possible as we head into the fourth set of the battle. Mm -hmm. So right now we are... Um... For Quinnipiac, they're still sending out Billy Shilly, who is a, a, a P2, potentially Pitt and Terry Main as well. And uh, Mississippi State is going to be sending out Connor Sanders, captain of their team, who play Yoshi. Ooh, this is, uh, is going to be an interesting one. Mm -hmm. Would love to see a P2. I always love to see P2. Yeah, Peach is a Peach is a pretty well. He was always a good character. He just went from like tip of the iceberg, like top three good character.